Welcome to my channel. This is the first in a new series called Make It Fit, where I am going to make clothes that I have fit me better. Um, and hopefully with that knowledge, you'll be able to make your closet clothes fit you better too. Um, today I'm going to be focusing on a shirt that I got that didn't quite fit me. It was a little too small, so I'm going to be making it bigger using one of the most common methods, and that is adding a gusset. I don't know how to end this video. Here we go. I have been looking for a top like this for a long time. Versatile enough to be worn open as a jacket or do up the buttons, it's long enough to be a dress. Because I'd been looking so long, I didn't care that it didn't quite fit. Plus, making clothing bigger is always a requested video. I felt like I was gonna hulk out of it every time I flexed or stretched my arms. And unlike Bruce Banner, I don't have multiples of this. So as with most projects, we're gonna seam rip to start. I'm opening up the side seam, following all the way up the arm to the sleeve hem. I went to the fabric store and looked for fabric that was the closest in color I could get. I got pretty lucky and also found something that was stretchy, because then I can hulk out even more. Don't worry if you don't find a matching color. Pick something else and have fun with it. Undo the hem and measure from it all the way up to the armpit and down the sleeve to the cuff. Make sure you catch those seam allowances. Making sure the stretch of my fabric went in the correct direction, I cut three strips two inches wide. I did two inches because I only needed one inch added and then half an inch on either side for seam allowance. Yeah, math. Okay, quick fabric lesson. So the edge of the fabric that is cut when you go to the fabric store and buy it is called the cut edge. Now the other edge is called the selvage edge and that is tightly woven so as not to unravel for you. And all fabrics have a grain, a direction in which they are woven. And the grain line is always parallel to the salvage edge of the fabric. Another term is two-way stretch and four-way stretch. So normally two-way stretch only stretches actually in one direction. It's either from selvage edge to selvage edge or from the cut line across but four-way stretch goes in both directions, both from salvage edge to salvage edge or across the grain. So the fabric that I purchased was only two-way stretch. So what does all that mean? Well, for me, I had to use the short side to make my strips to get the maximum stretch of the fabric. So what I ended up having to do was out of the three strips that I cut, I cut the third one in half with right sides together, I pinned one short strip to one long strip. I serged the edges together, and then I stitched them together with half inch seam allowance. When pinning these strips to the shirt, I pinned right sides together, and I lined up that seam with the armpit seam. And then I continued to pin away from that seam, and stitched it on. I did the same thing with the other side of the strip. Once the strips were stitched in place, then I serged my raw edges off. I had a little bit of excess fabric at the hem, so making sure to line up the fabric with the opened hem, I cut off my excess. I did the same at the sleeve hem, making sure to leave enough, half an inch, to attach the cuff. Next, I picked open the cuff a little bit more and unfolded that half inch seam allowance. I measured the length of the cuff, making sure to include the seam allowance. Now this cuff had interfacing in it, and since my insert is going to be stretchy, I'm not going to add interfacing. So it's going to be a little floppy in there, but that's okay. We're going to cut another 2 inch wide strip to the correct length of the cuff. With right sides together, we're going to pin the insert onto the cuff. I stitched it on and then did the other side. There's no need to serge these edges because they'll be hidden within the cuff. Next, you're gonna fold half an inch under to make the clean edge of the cuff. Do this on both the inner edge and the outer edge and making sure to sandwich your sleeve within. There's a lot of layers here, so it's kind of tricky to get it all in the right place and then stitch it. But once it is, you can pin it and then top stitch it all down. So most sewing machines have a compartment in the front that can come off and it makes the sewing platform smaller. 
now it should be small enough that you can fit your sleeve in. This makes it a lot easier to stitch in small places like a sleeve. To maintain the stretchiness of the fabric, top stitching has to be done while extending it so that the thread doesn't rip when it becomes stretched. The last step is to fold up the hem and stitch that in place. I decided to push my insert seams to the outside edge. So this fabric insert that we added is known as a gusset, and that is one way to make a piece of clothing bigger. And now it fits! Time for Trash Alley photo shoot. Because I found a pretty good fabric, the gusset doesn't stand out or draw attention to itself, which is great. And because of the extra space and stretch, I can move freely, flexing and stretching with no worry of hulking out. Because the buttons are black on the shirt, I think it goes very well with an all black outfit. All these pieces are thrifted or from set sales. And my favorite part about this outfit are these new shoes. If you're interested how to repair or restore leather or suede shoes, check out my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching my very first Make It Fit video. I was really excited to do this series because I have a lot of things that I need to make fit me. I no longer shop in my size in thrift stores because I know I can make almost anything fit. And hopefully you guys will have those skills too after you watch these videos. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, give me a like or a comment down below. I love reading those. We'll see you all next time. Bye! Mm -mm 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 -mm